What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. I want to do the first confessions of a black author for 2023 with a little throwback. I was thinking about one of my characters and reported from hell when a certain individual had sentenced one of his loved ones to death and he found that individual and attempted to beat him to death. He left that individual in a pool of blood and he was certain that he killed him, but he did not and was highly upset when it did not happen. When I wrote that story and reported from hell, I had a different mindset. When I wrote that story, that was in 2013, I was yet to become a father. But now that I'm a father, I have to re-examine that question. Should you kill for your family? It might sound familiar to you because you've heard this from me before. It depends. Let's get to this one. When it is justified, you murdering for your family. When it's in self-defense, that should be obvious. Motherfucker kick the door, try to come in and rob and kill your whole family. I'm trying to blow them back out the door. They empty the entire clip of whatever I have on my hand when I do it. That's me protecting my family. That's me putting someone down in the dirt and I feel like I'm justified. Now, I can't even lie. I'm a tad bit overprotective of my beautiful young daughter. And it's an internal conflict with me of I'm not going to tell you I'm going to get less protective for her. I'm going to get more protective for her the older she gets. And I plan to be the most protective until the day I die. I don't give a fuck if I'm 90 years old. My daughter called me with a problem. My old ass is showing up to solve it. And whatever tool I have in my hand at that age, it might blow my ass back along with me when I let it go. But, yeah, I'm going to stand on business for my daughter. At the same time, let's say hypothetically someone did something to a loved one of yours and you stand on business and knock their ass off and you was not justified. You did it after the fact. You did it carrying out street justice. They lock you up for life. Can you protect your family then? That's the thought that's been running in my head. If you have a daughter or a sister or something and somebody whoops their ass and you go over there and kill them, what's going to stop the next person from whooping their ass when you locked up in a penitentiary forever? In those cases, what do you do? The choice is yours on that. I'm not going to ask you what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to throw it away forever and just be here for that limited time to protect my daughter because after then, it's over. And I'm going to tell you this. And let you know, I'm just a humble black author trying to find his way in life. And I'm still learning and trying to figure out things on my own just the way you are. I don't know the answer to that. Is it worth it? If somebody hurts your loved one, especially a woman in your family, you go out and stand up for them and seek street justice, get your ass locked up for the rest of your life, and then you cannot protect them when it happens again. Or it can be a situation where you have a loved one that's in an abusive relationship. Let's say you didn't go there and kill him. You go there and whoop the dog shit out their ass. You know what I'm saying? You go there and stomp their eye out. I'm talking about a real good ass whooping. I don't know. I'm, I'm from my east, man. Nashville. I've seen some things and know some things. But I'm talking about ass whooping that eye falls out. And I'd be down if your female relatives tell them, I forgive him, I love him, and take them back. And they whoop their ass again. What do you do then? They keep going back and back and back. Damn, is it time to wash your hands of that? I'm asking questions, y'all. Straight up. I'm seriously asking some questions. I definitely want to come to y'all like I'm some great guru and have all the answers. No, I get on this camera to have a two-way conversation. This is a high level of thinking over here. We ask serious questions and we want intelligent responses to them. Is there a line in the sand you must draw 
when it comes to protecting your loved ones, especially the women in your family. Because if you go too far, will you still be here to protect them if that happens to them again? Thank you for tuning in. God bless. One team.